May I ask you a question? If I play my horn full tilt, record it, and play it back, do you think this sound is going to come out of your system? Do you believe it? I don't think so. But it will come out of the M1. That's the difference. It's engineered to do that. If that's what you're looking for, then you might want to take a listen to what the M1 can do. I remember going to hear John Coltrane when I was 16 years old and sitting a meter in front of him, directly in front of his horn. And having him play right in front of me for a couple of hours. And that sound was just coming at me like a, like a freight train, you know. And it wasn't just sound, it was air moving, hitting me on my body, you know. And that is an experience that I would like other people to have. But the only way to do that is through music reproduction. My inspiration for going into audio was to enable people to feel that kind of intensity, that kind of emotional experience that we only get from live performance. But to do that, we have to move air. And let's face it, speakers today, they just don't move air. They, they place, there's some sound coming out of them, but it's not the same thing. So I decided to create a system that would move air the way that musicians move air when they play or sing, as close as possible to the real thing. And that required rethinking everything. And the first thing was to design a speaker that could do that. That meant new drivers, a new tweeter, a new 12 inch, a new 18 inch, new cabinets, new crossover, everything from the ground up. And that speaker is the Daniel Hertz M1. Now, today, the style is to have thin speakers, you know, it's kind of like cool design speakers. There's only one problem with them, they don't work. It's like an airplane with one wing. It looks cool, but it doesn't fly. The M1 is designed to move air, not to look a certain way. And its form follows function. One of the most important parameters in speakers is efficiency. The lower the efficiency of a speaker, the more musical energy is turned into heat. So the higher the efficiency, the more acoustic output you have. And that's what we need, you know? In life, when instruments go like we don't want to hear you know? And getting that energy out there requires higher efficiency. But high efficiency speakers typically don't sound that natural. So the first thing we did was to make a new kind of speaker driver and a new kind of speaker that was very efficient but very natural sounding. That's what the M1 does. It combines extremely natural sound with the ability to play all kinds of music, to reproduce the most delicate instruments and voices and the most powerful with ease. And that required a new kind of design. One of the most beautiful things about the M1 is its ability to play softly. You know, to have charm, to have poetry in music, it's about the soft parts, not only the loud parts. And the M1 has this ability to give you the music at very soft levels, like life, you know, like a, a guitar string or a soft piano note or a cymbal. It just comes to life. But also to have the full dynamic capability, you know, to like push you right up against the wall if the music is doing that. And it's that combination of incredible dynamic range and sonic poetry that sets the M1 apart. The M1 speaker is unlike any other. It starts with the drivers. A fantastic tweeter, 12 inch and 18 inch woofer, that are capable of taking 4,000 watts of power. The Daniel Hertz M1 speaker is like a concert grand piano. 
You can't appreciate it from photographs or from specs or from advertisements. You have to play it, you have to hear it. It's an emotional experience. The M1 is a completely different kind of speaker from the ground up. The drivers were custom designed uh, by an American team that specialize in pro audio. They're not consumer speakers, okay? They're, co they're outdoor concert level technology speakers and they enable the M1 to move air way beyond what anybody in high-end audio is used to. With one watt, you can play 100 decibels of sound pressure level. It, you know, most people don't even use a watt of power when they're listening to music. But to get the full benefit of the M1, we needed a new kind of amplifier. And now we have that. It's called Maria. Maria is the mate to the M1. Maria gives the M1 everything it needs. The power, the detail, the warmth, the clarity, the delicate tuning that just gets the best out of each driver, um, the low output impedance and high output current to get the punch and the slam that the M1s can do when called for. Um, and with the marriage of Maria and the M1, you have a new kind of system. One box, two speakers that does everything. You have Wi-Fi, all the functions of a preamp, the power amps, um, let's say the active crossovers in the case of the M1 because they are by amplified. It's a complete music system with one amplifier and two speakers without compromise. This is my Con A80 Cornet, made in 1920. This is the instrument that Big Spiderbeck used um, in his life, and, and uh, there's nothing like it for me, you know. I just love this instrument. It's, it has soul, okay? I just don't get that feeling from any other horn. This is the one I love. Now, this is the Daniel Hertz Maria Amplifier. This amplifier has soul. This is something you have to find out for yourself. But that's what makes it a unique product. It's not just an amplifier. It turns music into life energy that you feel in a new way. Because the new technology that's used to make it enables that. We couldn't do it before. We didn't have the technology to do it. But Maria is built with all new technology that makes this possible. It's something special, like this horn. It's not something that you buy, sell, trade, and, you know, uh, it's not a commodity. It's an artisanal product that has soul. Those of you who are familiar with the audio world have been told that to have the best system you need a very sophisticated D to A converter, preamplifier, power amplifier, very expensive cables, and so forth. Well, Daniel Hertz has a new idea. One box. Maria is all of that and more. First of all, Maria is a preamplifier and a power amplifier with the absolute highest quality of digital to analog conversion possible. It also has Wi-Fi. It has a headphone amplifier with separate tuning to bring out the best in your headphones. It has speaker tuning to bring out the best in your speakers. It has C-Wave technology, which enables you to listen to digital content, even streaming, with the sound and feeling of pure analog. Believe me, it's true. You'll find out. <clears throat> Maria um, is also uh, energy efficient, low heat, easy to use, and timeless. 
Audio products typically have a short life. They're here today, gone tomorrow. It's about selling the same people over and over again. But Daniel Hertz isn't like that. Daniel Hertz makes the equivalent of musical instruments. You don't buy it, sell it, and trade it. You buy it and you keep it for your life because you love it, you know? It has soul. It's, it's something that really makes you happy. So Maria is not just a combination of all these things that you need. It's, it's, um, it's a way to um, get out of the rat race and think about what's the latest, what's the greatest, what's coming this year, next year, and so forth and so on. It's, it's a, a single chassis solution to drive any good speakers. Now there's something else. The Maria 50 and Maria 200 are two-channel amplifiers, but the Maria 800 is a four-channel amp. Why is that important? Because to have the best possible sound, you need to have the best possible bass. And to have the best possible bass, you have to have a big woofer. But those kind of big woofers have to be driven directly from an amplifier, not through a passive crossover. That means you need a speaker that's bi-amplified. But with a normal stereo amp, you can't do that. With a Maria 800, you can. And that by amplification is possible with the exact crossover points and slopes that are required. Uh, it's a precision active crossover in addition to everything else. So if you get a Maria 200 and you want to upgrade to a Maria 800, it's possible. Uh, that's the passport to the ultimate. And we want to make it easy for people. So if you have a Maria 200, you can upgrade to the Maria 800. So in addition to having the functions of the DA converter, the preamp, the power amp, all the interconnect cables, and Wi-Fi, with the Maria 800, you also have the active crossovers and four channels of power amp that are required to drive by amplified speakers. All Daniel Hertz products have the same DNA. The Mighty Cat chip we use in the Maria amplifier is the same chip we use in all of our electronics. It's the same brain with the same technology, the same software, and very importantly, C-Wave technology. That's a big differentiator. Why? Because, as we all know, listening to digital audio content is really not fun. It doesn't feel like pure analog. It's just not the same thing. But in today's world, we have streaming, we have such a library of content that, that, that we would like to hear. It's very impractical to want to listen to only pure analog LPs made before 1978. So we had to find a solution, and C-Wave technology is the solution. We spent 30 years trying to understand what the problem was how to measure it, and then to find a solution. And what we found is this. Analog audio is based on a continuous waveform, right? But digital audio is based on a sampled waveform. And what the brain feels is something like da 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 It's not fun. Now, C-Wave technology fills in the spaces so that the brain responds more like the pure analog. There's no digital feeling anymore, even from streaming content. Now, when you have a system like the M1, you want the content to be on the same level as the equipment. You know, what good does it do to have expensive audio equipment if it's no fun to listen to? And that's really what the problem is. If you don't have C-Wave technology, you're in trouble because most of the content that you're going to want to play just doesn't feel good. Now with the M1 system, you have it all. <clears throat> you have a playback system that can really move air like the live performance, but you also have a way of turning the content into something that you want to hear, that's enjoyable, that, that's musical, um, and allows you to listen to whatever you want to, every genre, from every era, in any, uh, in any kind of media format. So 
It's the combination of the Maria amplifier and the M1 speaker that creates this new uh, level of musical experience. And that's the same for all of our products. All Daniel Hertz products have the same DNA using the same technology and are in the same family. The M1 gives you the most of it, but all of our products share that DNA. The M1 system is based on my life work as a musician, as a recording engineer, and as an audio equipment designer. And the purpose of the M1 system is to reproduce recordings of music so that you feel like you're in the room with the musicians. Um, if you're a person who has that wish, if, if that means something to you, then the M1 system is for you.